Hey guys, so the new Valorant Champion bundle just dropped. Not dropped, uh, a little sneak peek. Uh, it is a Phantom as expected, but is it better than our previous champion skins? Let's take a look at the showcase. Hey guys, it's Potter, the head coach of EG Valorant, and we're gonna check out the champ skins. Okay, so here it is. And it's a Phantom, thank God. It's the better rifle and it's the only one I can shoot. So right off the bat, it's a phantom and the melee is a katana, which is pretty sick. I, I like the animations, but the skin itself isn't as good as I expected it to be for a bundle that drops around once once a year. You know, I was waiting for the champion bundle to drop, I think, a year ago, and uh, this is a big letdown. It almost looks like, you know, you know the, uh, I think it was like episode 7, act 2 battle pass. It almost looks like that, but uh, infused with ion. They also changed the kill banners, which I think it's it's pretty refreshing. I like it. It's pretty it's pretty clean. Crispy headshots. There's a new champion's anthem that they pull all the sounds from and it's sounding crisp. The finisher is kinda cool, but I think it's a little bit too much. A little bit reminds me of Fortnite, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's a space aspect, maybe it's all the poses, I don't know what they're reaching for. And I'm also pretty certain you only get this part that looks like an asteroid or a rock if you are I think if you have 25 kills at least. Alright, let's run it back through the features. So we already know it looks good. And <laughs> As a bump in the center. And sounds good. I think the sound effect is sweet. I think it'll just hype you up to get more and more kills and kind of gas you up for the multi kill here. The VCT look. Is it me or does it kind of sounds like a like a regular Phantom? Maybe maybe not. Maybe you just have to play it and then you notice a difference. That's what happens with a lot of these. You kind of have to experience it yourself to uh to judge it. Logo is going to track your kills, filling up all the way to 24. The kill banners are brand new and they're so satisfying. And if you're the top fragger in the server, you get to flex on all of your teams. Yeah, I don't think we care about the top frag. I'm not gonna get it. Maybe if you're cracked, then uh, go for it. Personally, like you know. No. Okay, here it is. Every person you kill ends up in a supernova explosion. I do think that aspect is pretty cool that every person you kill in that round ends up in this finisher. That's pretty cool. They've never done that before. And you can shoot the asteroids. You can pose in it too. And then okay, this is kind of okay, just like Fortnite cooked. stuff. I don't know if they Con cooked, but uh, <laughs> it just reminds me of Fortnite emotes, man. That is nice too. It's got a new inspect and I'm loving the new right click and those sounds, they go hard. It, it doesn't go that hard. This one also has a spinning butt you know. The, the knife doesn't look that good. It's kind of just like you're holding a bunch of rocks that's fused together with super glue. And cracked gold texture. This bundle is a flex when you pop off, and it's I don't, I don't think it's a flex much. It doesn't. That goes directly to the teams. <sighs> I don't know, man. I think we're only missing Travis Scott popping out of this. I'm curious in the comments. <laughs> Emo and Valorant, finally. Surprisingly, a lot of people like it. I'm suspicious. Are they bonds? There it is. Sales are going to be super low this year. Bruh. My wallet is safe. <laughs> this bed is going to be so ass. I think my wallet is safe. I think so, too. <laughs> Built ask. Yuck. Thank you for keeping my wallet safe. Okay, this this is where the true comments are. So I think a lot of people would agree with me that this bundle looks pretty bad, especially for a champion. I think what they're doing is just making it more flashy, which not really my style. Maybe for like the younger generations, which I'm not that young. No, I'm not that old. Technically, I fit into the category and I'm not really digging this. I I, I really, really like the simpler um, simpler styles like the, the first champion vandal skin. I think that's super clean when it first came out. I didn't really like it because it was missing that, you know, flashy. If this came out, I think four years ago, I think I would have liked it. As of now, I think I'm going through like a mid like crisis. My styles changed. I'm more into the simplistic one. Even even the first champion phantom skin is pretty nice. But I think they're just going too overboard with all the colors and flashes and this spinning butt in the middle and finisher is alright. It's a cool concept, but I don't know if that's good. And especially when they're gonna sell it for I don't know what it was like 80, 90 US dollars for a phantom and a knife and a few banners and titles. We don't care about that. I just don't think it's quite worth it. But regardless, people are still gonna buy this because you know it's exclusive. It's never gonna come back. Let me know in the comments if you are gonna go for it and and, and why. But yeah, I don't think it takes rocket science to tell you that this skin doesn't look that great for a champion skin and a 
lot of the times when people are trying to convince themselves that it looks good is because it's a new champion skin you waited one year for this you want this to be good you want a valid reason for you to uh spend money on another skin just because it's exclusive it's once in a year skin you know just because of that factor you want to buy it not because of the skin itself because you know the skin itself is pretty Eh. But also a part of me is glad and thankful that this skin wasn't good because, you know, it's pretty expensive. Although the knife animations is pretty sick, I think they could have done a lot better. But what do I know? Let me know in the comments what you think about this one though, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.